everyone, welcome back to my channel. And if you're new, welcome to my channel. My name's Hermione. Today, I'm gonna be sharing with you some fun DIY projects. It's actually a challenge that I'm partaking in today, a Poundland challenge. I'll tell you a bit more about that in a second, but I'm doing this in collaboration with one of my really, really good friends here on YouTube, Mr. Carrington. If you've never seen or heard of him before, you have to go check him out. He does some really great homeware projects and DIYs, and he's actually hilarious in real life and on camera, so you definitely need to go check him out. I'll leave him linked down below, but we met up a few weeks ago and we challenged each other to a Poundland challenge. So we have made it to Poundland. How are you feeling about this challenge? Quite small Poundland. Oh gosh, we might have to find a second one. <laughs> yeah. We are about to go in and find all of the items we need for this challenge. And we're saying one pound items, one no pound naughty item. two pound ones. No. No, no, no. <laughs> Out the question. <Yeah. laughs> so basically, we each took five pounds and we went into Poundland and bought each other five items, mystery items, and then exchanged them. So he's making a video on his channel with the things that I picked out for him, and I'm making one on mine with the things that he picked out for me. We're obviously also allowed to use anything else with these items but the items have to make up a big part of the project there were four normal items and then one wild card here are the bits that he picked for me are you ready for this yeah i'm ready for this i feel <laughs> nervous yeah i feel like this is a scary christmas <laughs> like, not exciting christmas okay let's see oh okay this is a sharing platter for like nachos and dips and things this it's interesting. I will find something I can do with this. Interesting. I'm pretty pleased with that. Thank you. Thank good, you. good. Yes. 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 Pegs. <laughs> pegs. <laughs> you know what? I was going to do a video all about things you could make with pegs. Really? Yeah, and I never did. Oh. Thank well, that you. was like the wild card item. It's not too wild, but I just thought it's a bit, a bit different. Making me feel very bad about my <laughs> wild card uh -oh. item. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I guess that's kind of wild card as well. What made you pick this? Do you know what? There is actually a story behind this. Okay. I saw the most beautiful watering can in anthropology. <gasps> I think it was around the £50 mark. I thought maybe you could transform could, that into a beautiful watering I can. I can definitely try. <laughs> I'm very pleased with that one as well. This is going really well. Yeah, from the pet section. Oh, you've done so well. I love this. I thought the leather looked quite yeah, good. I think it's leather effect, to be honest. It's but, plastic. Yeah. Leather, which I like. It yeah. looks very, very realistic, actually. Go Good on you, Poundland. Yeah. Yeah. So this is in kitchen roll. Yeah, that was complimentary. <laughs> is this one of those birds? Yes. <laughs> Did you see them? Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's a parrot. You know what? I saw these in my Poundland and yeah. I thought of you. Really? Yeah. yeah. I don't own one, but mm -hmm. I thought there's some something has to be something achievable be with a with a ceramic parrot so now i'm gonna go home and i'm gonna try and make the most of this situation and then i'm gonna show you what i've done i literally cannot wait to see what you make with these and um i'll see you guys in a minute so i guess it's about time that i show you guys what i made here are the diys so let's start with the ceramic parrot. Now you might have noticed I picked up another one of them and I'm using this lamp base that I'm borrowing from my nan. I coated the parrots with a coat of silver spray paint to match the lamp base and they looked a little something like this. I wanted to create a lamp base with the birds on it because I've seen a lot in magazines and on Pinterest with flamingos and birds and giraffes and things. And I just think it's a really fun trend that I haven't played around with yet. As you can see, I did forget to paint the back. So it's really important to paint the back of them because you want this to look good from all angles. So don't forget that. I'm using a hot glue gun to attach these because I wanted to not have them be permanent in case my nan wants her lamp base back, but I would recommend using a super glue if you want it to be more permanent. To add a bit more decoration, I picked up these hair clips in Poundland and I really love the look with the leaves. I thought they'd go very well and give it a very tropical theme. So I bent back all of the clips and I cut them off with some jewellery clippers. 
and I was able to kind of curve them around the lamp base and cover up a bit of the back of the birds where I'd forgotten to spray paint. So these are really great because you can kind of mold them as you want. Um, you could spray paint them the same colour but I wanted to add just a little bit of a different something to them so I left them gold. If you're using a stronger adhesive, let it dry overnight and you should have something that looks a little bit like this. The total cost of this was four pounds and a borrowed lamp base. So I was quite pleased with how inexpensive it was. And you know what? This was quite a fun project. I was worried about the birds when I got them, but actually this one turned out okay. So next up, let's tackle that watering can. Now I went in and gave this a couple of coats of gold spray paint. The one thing I would recommend is probably use a primer on this. I really wish I had because it is plastic, but this is how it turned out. And now it's time to decorate it. And I really wanted to try and decorate it in the style of the anthropology one that Ewan showed me. So I'm just using some twine to wrap around the handle. I wasn't sure whether to go around the whole handle or do just a section. So I started with a section and I thought, you know what? I think I'll leave it at this because I quite liked it. When you're wrapping the twine around the handle, if you make this, don't forget to use little dabs of hot glue to keep it in place. Next, I took some push pins and I cut these with some jewelry clippers and just cut all of the pins off and hot glued them onto the front of the watering can. You want to make sure you can cut as much of that pin off because otherwise you might poke a hole in your watering can and you don't want to end up with water everywhere. So this is how it's looking. As you can see, there's a few stray glue gun strings that I had to get rid of. But other than that, this is the final result. And I really, really like this piece. As you can see, I had a bit of a mishap with the spray paint at the bottom. But other than that, I think it turned out quite well. And I actually really like it. So it's now in my office for my office plants. Next, let's tackle that serving platter. I'm not gonna lie to you, I was a bit concerned about this one because it's so big and I was just like, what am I gonna do with it? So I ended up spray painting this as well with a shiny coat of silver spray paint. And I took two of these non-stick sandwich tins from Poundland and I glued one of them to the bottom of the piece. I made sure it was nice and centered right in the middle so that this wasn't gonna be wonky in any way. Once that was dry, I took some marbles and I've always wanted to try this, so it's quite exciting. I put marbles all in the bottom of the second tray, popped the first one on top, and now we have a spinning Lazy Susan. So this is really handy for anything you want to organize, but. I'm using it in my office here and organizing some of my office supplies and the things that I was using for my projects. Like I said, I've always wanted to try and make one of these. Do I think I'll use it in my office? Probably not because it's just a bit of a novelty and really fun, but I think it would be very handy in the back of a drawer or a cupboard where you can't reach things that you really need access to. This dog lead is the thing I was really looking forward to DIYing with. So I ended up cutting the handle off and then cutting the clasp end at the bottom. It was a bit tricky to get the clasp out, but I wanted to make sure I cut it this way. So I had a kind of an opening, as you can see when the clasp comes out, it separates into two sections. So I was able to tuck the first piece into the second piece and now I have a continuous loop. So I used a little bit of hot glue to secure those into place. I let it dry and then I took a circular craft mirror and I placed it in between the rope. At the bottom, I had the area where I glued it together so that wasn't too much on show. And then of course I brought out my trusty hot glue gun and I glued this all together to secure the mirror in place. Because this is plastic and glass, I thought hot glue was probably the best option here. And um, it actually turned out pretty well. I mean, it's quite a small mirror, but it's a fun little project that you can make if you wanted to hang it up in a dorm room or a small space. And last but not least, the pegs. So I'm starting this project by taking a bunch of pegs apart, which you can just do by pulling the piece of metal out from the middle. And then I'm just using a hot glue gun again 
to glue two pieces together back to back. And I did this for quite a few pieces, so I had a few lined up. When I had enough ready, I was able to use the hot glue to attach them all together at the tip, and I'm gluing them together in a circular shape to create a starburst kind of pattern. And this I'm gonna do to create a coaster for a mug or a candle or something like that. You can do so many things with pegs, I'd love to show you guys one day, but I didn't put them all in this video because I thought it would make the video way too long. Also, hot glue gun strings are the bane of my life. So if you want to put this together using wood glue, be my guest. But this is how it turned out, and I think it's quite a fun little project that you can make with something that you might already have lying around in your house. So that's everything for today's video. I hope you guys liked the DIYs. And of course, please go and check out Mr. Carrington's videos. He's one of my favorite people on YouTube and in real life. He's so funny and he did autumn DIYs. I really wanted to do something like this, but the parrots kind of stumped me. So I just made regular DIYs, but his are all autumn themed. I've seen them already. His are so good. So definitely go check them out and tell him that I sent you. And with all of that being said, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you have a good week. Happy DIYing and I'll see you next time. Bye.